We've made all the school supplies. Now Barbie needs a school. Today, we're going to show you how to make a miniature desk, lockers, a chalkboard, and so much more. The bell is ringing. School is in session. School desk and chair. Barbie needs a desk and chair for her classwork. So cut out a few pieces of foam board like these. Measure and cut out some adhesive contact paper to give it that wood look. Cut some large popsicle sticks in half and set everything out. Paint the sticks with silver nail polish. Then, glue the sticks to the bottom side of your desktop. Glue in some thin popsicle sticks to make the legs of the desk. Next, make the chair with the other pieces of foam board and a couple more painted popsicle sticks. Wrap some black tape around the bottoms of the legs to make it look more authentic. Now Barbie is ready to slay some numbers in her calculus class. Lockers. If you've got a few old toothpaste boxes, we'll show you how to make lockers for Barbie and her classmates. First, cut along the corner of the box and cut off the top flap. Now glue the boxes together to make lockers. Make sure the boxes all open out in the same direction. Now, for a little color, glue some blue construction paper to the lockers with a glue stick. Cut the paper so the locker doors can open. Use a ruler to cut a straight line. Mom or dad can help you with the sharp stuff. Draw some lines at the top and bottom of the lockers with a fine tip marker. This mirror paper should work great for handles. Use a hole punch to get three circles and glue them onto the doors as combination locks. Bend the paper to form the handle and glue in place. Number the lockers so Barbie knows which one's hers. Hey girl, just grabbing some books from my locker. You can even add shelves with your sturdy blue construction paper. Just cut and fold to fit and glue them inside the locker. Looks like these students have everything they need for a successful school day. Board. Get your hands on some adhesive chalkboard paper and stick it to a piece of corkboard. Write the lesson of the day on your chalkboard and hang it up in Barbie's classroom. School is totally cool. Now who's hungry? Let's grab some lunch. First, print a pattern like this one from your computer and cut it out. Cut slits at the lines and glue your little milk or juice box together. Cute, right? Next, clean out an old makeup compact. Pop the lid off so it looks like a lunch tray. Time to make some food out of this plasticine material. Cut a few pieces off and roll them up between your fingers. Flatten these little guys out. And roll out a long skinny piece of black plasticine. Cut tiny chocolate chips for your cookies and put them on. Place these treats on Barbie's lunch tray. Then roll out an orange piece of plasticine. Add a green stem and poke a bunch of little holes in it to get the same texture as an orange. After that, roll a bunch of tiny pieces of the orange material and add to Barbie's tray. You should never play with pills or pill cases. So ask your parents if they have any empty bubble packs from their medications. Pull the foil off and use it as a ketchup container. Squirt a tiny bit of ketchup in. Make utensils with aluminum foil. Lunch is ready. 
canteen. Let's make a common area for Barbie and her friends to eat lunch in. First, glue a couple of plastic rulers together, like this. Measure about 10 centimeters on a balloon stick and cut it at the marks. Actually, cut two. Now, place the sticks into those plastic balloon holders, like this. Glue the sticks to the bottom of the rulers to make a table. Now, grab another holder and cut a small balloon stick to fit. Trace out the circle onto several different colored pieces of foam sheet. Glue the colored circles to the white circles. Then, glue the stands to the white circles. Now you've got some stools for Barbie and her friends to sit on while they eat. Hey Barbie, are you going to eat that? What did you guys get on the pop quiz? School uniform. Find a piece of fabric with a fun pattern, like this one. Cut it out in this shape and fold it over. Measure and mark it to Barbie's body. Then trace out the sleeves and bottom of the shirt. Sew the sides together. Make another shirt using the same steps. Cut the shirt up the middle and cut along the top to make room for her neck. Do the same with both shirts, then turn them right side out. Ask your parents to help you iron creases in the sleeves. Time to make the skirts. Cut a strip of fabric or elastic and lay flat. Then, glue a larger piece of fabric to the strip, folding every quarter inch to make pleats. Cut a piece of Velcro and glue to the seam of the skirt so Barbie can fasten it. Do this with both fabrics, making two uniforms. Let's get ready for school, ladies. Congrats! You are an official uniform designer. Aren't they adorable? Cheerleader! Let's make a cheerleader uniform for Barbie so she can cheer with the squad. First, cut out a donut shape from a piece of white fabric. Grab some red stretchy elastic and measure it to Barbie's waist. Cut the elastic to fit. Cut one side of the donut and sew on the red elastic. Gather the fabric with your thread to make the skirt. Then, glue the gathered fabric to the elastic band. Glue the seam together, and now Barbie's cheer skirt is ready for action. Make Barbie's cheer top with a piece of red fabric. Fold it and cut to fit Barbie's torso. Sew the seams together. Then, add some black straps to the shoulders. Glue two pieces of white ribbon to the front of the uniform. Add two thin strips of black fabric for extra detail. Then, write her uniform number on the chest. Ready to make the pom-poms? Wrap some string around a fork, like this. Snip and tie the end pieces around the middle to gather all the string. Pull it off the fork and cut the string at the loops. Fan them out and you've got some sparkling pom-poms for Barbie to shake at the homecoming game. Go Wildcats! We had a blast making Barbie's school come alive with you today. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you around.